Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and this is a Friday Sews, as normal on a Friday. <laughs> So first of all, I'd just like to say a big thank you to the one, the only, the marvellous Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for setting up Friday Sews and the hashtag that everyone can vlog under on a Friday to let us know what they're up to, what they've been doing, what their plans are and a little bit about life. So I'm going to start off with what I am currently working on because I am stopping midway through a sewing flow um, and I am currently going through and making a million and one easy eight half square triangles um, from this beautiful. I'll show you what it is actually. These so I've, these are the these are the ones that I've currently sewn. So the easy eight method, for those of you who don't know, um, you use charm squares and you mark a cross between each diagonal. You then sew either side of the line, and then when you cut them across here, down there, and on the lines that you've sewn, you end up with eight half square triangles which makes sewing a lot quicker. Although when you've got 42 of them to sew, it's not that much quicker. So the ones that I'm working on at the moment are, oh, apologies, let me steady that. This is a um, line of fabric by Art Gallery Fabrics. It is a, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful line. Um, so I am doing that as my main feature fabric and then the background fabric is a burlap print sort of like a hessian print um on the background so as you can see when they open up they will be those two fabrics so that is a quilt that i'm currently working on i have got i think about i think i'm only about 10 blocks in and well 10 easy eight in easy eight squares in and i've still got a whole wadge of them left to do so that is what I'm currently working on right this second. I'm going to test out my handy dandy half square triangle ruler and see if it actually works. I only realised this morning that it had a film over it, which is why I couldn't read the numbers properly. Huh. Um, so besides that, I have been working on a pattern which is by Andra from Andra Makes. For any of you who don't know who Andra Makes is, I will link her channel down below. She's linked in nearly every single one of my video descriptions on my channel. So if you haven't gone over and subscribed and looked at um, Andra's channel, please do so once you've finished watching this. Um, so Andra is going to be releasing a video hopefully next month, which will be a tutorial for a pattern that she actually created for... Um, one of the quilting magazines. Uh, I think it's Quilts and More. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Andra is actually one of the designers for um, the magazines and she releases patterns throughout the year, um, I think quarterly for the magazines. Um, and the one, one of her patterns that's now available, f which will, sorry, be available on her channel is a notebook cover and pen holder, which is for the American sort of um, school journal, not school journal, they're the school notebooks. So they are these, um, which are, they're nine, nine and three quarter inch by seven and a half inches. Um, I will link these in the, the description box. These are from Amazon. I'll link the, um, I will pop an affiliate link in for these from Amazon for any of you that want to stock up on them if you're planning on making any ones and releases the pattern um so the one that i made first was this one here which is from moon garden um carol from so carol also made some of these last week which was one of the reasons as well why i wanted to make some um because i saw hers and was like yep yeah, i need to have some of those in my life so this is moon garden um and as you can see when you open it up it is a beautiful notebook inside um, and then I made another one, which I don't know if I've got a picture of or not, but I haven't actually got it anymore because it was a gift for a friend of mine yesterday who I went to dinner with. And then I made a one, another one in line work, which is um, this one. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I think the line work one might end up in my store. The Moon Garden, I think I'm going to keep for myself. Um, and that is that. Also, I have a bit of footage which I'm going to insert once I've finished gabbling on, which is my Sewers Club box that was kindly sent to me by Sewers Club, 
which is a Canadian company and I will link them in the description box below. Um, they sent me one of their new half yard cut boxes and I will insert the footage of that in a moment um, of me receiving and opening that package this week. I s do say in the footage that I actually literally ran out of the bath upstairs because I was so excited to open it because it's taken quite a while to get here because Royal Mail around here have been pretty pants recently. Hi everyone, excuse the state of me, I have just got out of the bath but in the UK at the moment for some reason the postman just decides to turn up as and when he feels like it whether the weather's sunny, whether it's a certain moon, a certain planet alignment or whatever. So I have had my Sewers Club box arrive which is the new half yard bundle um, subscription that they're doing. I will link to the Sewers Club website down below. I have got a couple of affiliate links to pop in and I will also pop in any voucher codes and so on as well. So if you are interested in one of these, check out the links below. Um, so let's get into what they have sent me. So this is a Canadian company, but they ship worldwide, I believe. Um, I've had some stuff from Sewers Club before and they are beautiful. So they always come with a box with a detailed um, handwritten breakdown of what fabric is what. So we have got here, we've got hooked cream burlap, which is, I mean, let's, for starters, let's look at how beautiful they are packaged. These are stunning colours. So the first one that we've got is hooked cream burlap, which is a half yard and it is a burlap printed blender which is really really handy for bag linings this is a polar journey white animals which is beautiful it's got these really really pretty polar animals on there so what have we got on here we've got owls we've got wolves and we've got polar bears and white rabbits white fo arctic foxes i think there's even unicorns or white horses it is beautiful it's really subtle but really really pretty the next one we've got is power of the elements howling wolves which again is stunning for some reason this is giving me vibes of anna from pat and pouch nest and you got me in stitches i'm sure te would like that the next one is Bijou Silver Twinkle, which is another blender with a metallic through there. The next one is Pizzazz, which again is another blender, but it's kind of got like a, almost like a crack, crackle sort of mosaic texture to it, which is really stunning. These will all work really well. Sorry, this is Crackle shadow not pizzazz pizzazz after five is this one which is pretty pizzazzy if you ask me these will all work really really well for me as um blenders for bag linings especially for things like tulip pink's line work because these are all black and white and the last one is madam victoria's elegant cats which is framed cats and these are just screaming at me to be fussy cut and put in the middle of quilt blocks how cute are they and they're all in little photo frames so you could just literally cut out and chuck a couple of borders on them they'd be amazing for the inside of log cabin blocks so i will as i said i will link down below if you are interested in going and checking out the subscription boxes with sales club and i will pop everything across the bottom of the screen as well that is to do with the voucher codes and the affiliate links and stuff hi again it's edit and adam um so i just wanted to quickly just say that if you or anyone that is watching this video wants to get a subscription for the subs club you can have it monthly bi-monthly quarterly or those well yeah just those are the options you can have it once twice three times however many times you like um but if you are using the referral link um in the description box below you get 30 percent off your first subscription box um and you can either have three five or seven half yard cuts you can also do a fat quarter bundle um and i believe they do um stash builder kits as well just go and have a look at the website if there's anything that interests
So one of the other things that turns up this week was a, another vintage iron, which I managed to track down on eBay for a really, really reasonable price. Um, it was being bid on and I just put an offer in and the lovely lady that was selling it decided that my offer was fine and she accepted it and it turned up this week. And it is this one here. So it is another um, vintage iron. This one is made by a company called Centurion, I believe, Centurion. Um, it is a fully thermostat adjustable um, dry iron. It doesn't, doesn't have any steam. Um, and it gets so hot. It's only a, um, it's only a maximum of a thousand, it's between 800 and a thousand watt. So it's actually quite low wattage compared to some of the irons because most of them are about 12, 14, 15, 1600. Um, but it gets really, really hot. It presses seams really well. Um, and surprisingly, it actually gets creases out without even needing steam. So I'm really, really happy with that one. Um, it's slightly smaller than the last one that I bought, which is good. And it's got a much pointier um, point on the end. Um, so it opens up seams really nicely. Um, so that is that. And I'm trying to think of what else has happened in here this week. Not a great deal, to be honest. I have made a load more caddies this week, which were made on the tail end of last weekend. Um, so they are all shipped and all sold. And I just want to thank everyone that purchased one from my store last weekend. Um, and to the lovely lady as well that went in and bought one of the handbags that I had in stock. Um, so I believe that is pretty much it for me this weekend. As I say, I went out for dinner last night with one of my sewing buddies, which was brilliant. Her and her husband are absolutely lovely and they live quite far away from me. So they were actually on holiday, not that far from me. Um, so my myself, my husband and her and her husband went out last night for dinner, which was absolutely lovely. Um, I took her one of the notebooks as a little gift and I, yeah, it was just a really, really nice evening. This weekend's quite busy. I am doing hair clients all day tomorrow and then I am seeing my parents on f Sunday. Hopefully we will be having lunch and I'll be doing my mum and dad's hair. Um, and that's about it really. I am waiting on a huge delivery of out of stock Tudor that I managed to get through a lovely lady that I know that stocks Tudor Pink and she also managed to get some dead stock well, sort of dead stock end of line of line work, the black and white range. Um, so I managed to get a couple of bolts of two different things. So I'm waiting for that to turn up. That should be here tomorrow. I think that's it really. So I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone that watches. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers for sticking with me and I will see you all soon. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you all get some sewing done and I will see you all next week.